Here's another small TV radio mini entertainment center that I picked up at the estate sale this week. It's an RCA AC DC battery. We have a radio scale, low VHF, high VHF, and UHF television scale off or you can turn it to the weather or on for radio or television. If you're on the radio, FM, AM, or you can go to television. On television you can go to your VHF low, VHF high, or UHF. Down here we have our volume control, brightness, contrast, and our tuning control. And I have it propped up now and it's a little built-in stand to make the video a little easier to do. And we also can see there's a little earphone jack there. Looking around the right side, you can see we have one of two carrying handles. This is repeated on the left. And on the right side we have three possibilities for your weather band. Uh, just so happens mine is on A, where I get mine. And around the left everything's the same except no weather band. All right, looking at the top, we have our mandatory 1981 wood grain, a speaker, what's left of the television antenna and FM radio. Can't use it on television anymore, and I'm in an area of very strong FM stations, so I don't really need that. Um, here we have buttons for auto. Now, auto seems to turn the alarm off if I can get the alarm to work. I have a lot of trouble here getting the alarm to work, the sleep timer to work, snooze to work. They sometimes work. But what they always do is reset my clock. Um, so here's our dimmer for the LED clock. And we have uh, sleep. If you want to fall asleep to the radio, you can press that and it'll count down from 59 and then turn off. Um, our alarm, you can set your alarm just like you would think. And fast and slow settings for those. Here's a button for a light to light this dial up, but it doesn't do a very good job. And here's the snooze button. If the alarm go, happens to go off and you press snooze, it should uh, give you like th three minutes of extra sleep. All right, looking around the back, you can see our antenna terminals. Now, I haven't tried the television on this yet, except checking to see if it had a raster, so I don't know what's going to happen if we try and plug a DTA box on this, I just don't know yet. And here is our AC power connection place cable. And you notice this also pulls out of there. So this also says it's a DC unit plus battery, so there's probably an external optional cord sold for your car DC adapter there. Looking underneath you can see where the bracket is. I mean the uh, little stand is that you can flip up and use. And here's some of the specifics made in Taiwan. August of 1981. This is model AFR056W. If we go down a little more, you can see there's a couple of little clips that say press down, and that's how you get into the battery compartment. Let me stop and sort of arrange that. All right, here's the battery compartment. See, it takes, it's got little uh, sleeves for three, six, nine D cells, and a couple pieces of paper fell out when I opened it up. Uh, maybe we can read that. For 12 volt DC cigarette lighter connection, use only RCA stock number 146656 cord. Okay, and something else. Ming Shing Plastics Limited. Something. I also noticed inside the battery compartment here or near it anyway. 
I guess you would use this space to store your DC auto DC cord if you had bought one. It's a pretty big empty spot. But also in here is your controls for vertical hold and horizontal hold. So that's kind of inconvenient placement if you ask me. Alright, I have it set to 9 o'clock with the radio on. Now let's say I want to sleep after a certain amount of time. I'm going to turn that down. It's already at zero. So it's finished a countdown. All right, let's uh. It's a double pay work day. We've got all the details for you on the website at q95.com, so go check that out. We've got music Turn it off. From ACDC. Now this should Plus Queen and Journey. go off then in just a couple of minutes. I'll edit this out until it goes off. If you happen to be sitting in traffic, call the race. All right, shut off at 9.08. I think that's the time it was supposed to. So that time it worked as far as a sleep timer. But let's try it. Other days, he just show up for the free coffee and Wi Fi. Over it. In these classic rock. So there's the alarm 1010. Let me turn that down. Anything on AM? Typical AM reception. I'm not going to do an FM band scan. We know what works. When that food gets narrow, the air has to speed up, and then when the food gets wider again, the air slows down. Now, what Bruno did is that he measured the air pressure. Well, that's kind of the best I can get a picture of. Um, it's very temperamental. Once again, trying to find channel three. I gave up on the DTA device. I was getting no television stations at all, so I switched to the VCR. Like you can see, only fractionally better than nothing here. I'm looking at the video camera, and it actually looks better than what I can see. Um, in the room here. That probably won't translate to the end when I edit it and stuff. But at least I can see a picture here. All in the clips in the aircraft. And any time you'd use that pilot relief tube, this low pressure here would suck out the fluid and never once it. Well enough of that. Well, before we end our little run of the 1981 RCA little television radio, AFR056W, I thought we'd check out the weather band. It works. Another thing I didn't show is the auto dimmer. You can sort of still see it, but that looks better. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this look at this old RCA. It's very pretty cosmetically, but with the problems I have with the clock resetting its time many, many times, and I haven't figured that out, I'm sure it's something I'm doing wrong, but I can't figure out what it is. These are simple, and I've worked on dozens and dozens of units like this over the years, and none of them have given me that timer grief that this does. But it's a pretty unit, and I'm going to keep it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.